Hey everyone. We're dealing with a psychopath and some other uh, psychopaths. Me, of the Dark Brotherhood oh. the day I first hatched. I am Shadow Scare you see. Oh. Tidy. Stay safe. All oh, right, I have stuff to sell. And quests to turn in. What's the matter? Can't handle what I'm throwing your way. Can I tell you all of them are dead? Fine. Good. Your payment. Or job well done. Thank you for handing me the gold. Thank you for handing me the gold. Thank you for handing me the gold. Oh, that was a terrible pawn, dude. Come on. You can do better than that. Good luck. I'm a, I am heckin' loaded. I like this guy so much. I want to learn all the magic that he knows. Where is the grumpy wolf man? I think he has like merchant abilities, but I don't know for a fact. This is a child's room. Hmm. Interesting. Will there ever come a time when the beauty of skies will no longer be seen? I think not. I want one of the uh, wizard robe Dark Brotherhood ones. They look really good. Take care of the Nuiri contract. There will be plenty more by the time it comes. I'm actually okay for now. Let's go have some fun. Some actual non questing fun. I just finished recording the train wreck that was the Stardew Valley episode. I really gotta work on uh, switching out from being in like like full of energy, you know. Come on, guys, let's do some work. Look how cool everything is. Da -na 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 -na. I can learn how to switch out of that mood set into the whispering, relaxing, soothing. ASMR person. Thank you. 
creatures that's been wandering What have I done? Oh no. I asked the if you are willing to retrieve him. Tell me I'd give a good. I know you can get money out of him if you ask him for gold, but I don't care about the money. Check the road just outside the town. Feels good, but loyalty said. Take a look. Well, I can actually disenchant that. I should probably go up and see what I can disenchant. And then we'll, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. We're gonna see what kind of fun stuff I can disenchant first, and then we're gonna go back there. And anything that isn't equipped or disenchanted or not used regularly will be scrapped. How do you feel? I think you might Wait, what? Huh. Thank you for... I'm the steward here. Thanks for letting me know. I uh, didn't know that, actually. All right, so everything else I can sell. Cool. Although... This is technically a place of Talos, is it not? So wouldn't it be the reason that there's a shrine nearby? Here we go. Hmm. Hmm. Not the religious city I see. So this is not a Talos area, it's a legion. Feels good. The finest weapons in all. <sighs> Oh no, my nose stitches means I have a sneeze coming up. This is not good at all. Alright, let's use up as much leather as we possibly can making leather braces. Alright, we'll have to scrap. Uh, it's not going to be an even go here, but I'd rather have leather braces in my inventory than leather because, or leather strips in my inventory than leather because they're lighter. So. Oh, they make four. Oh, I could have just made one then. No. Doesn't matter. But I can actually make some iron armor to follow up with it. Cool. Very cool. I need some gold if I'm gonna make jewelry, so it's worth more. Only a hearty soul travel. Take a look. You look like a kind soul, sir. How all the junk I just crafted inside of your uh, forge. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, let's do it anyways. Meet me at my forge if you need arms or armor. Cool, Leo. Look at that. Carry weight is down by quite a bit. I don't know why I have that. I think it was from Mercer Fraser. Oh wow, I have a lot of uh 
very valuable stuff in a flagon for some reason. Boop. All right. Oh, graveyard. Um, it would be against Nordic uh, culture for them not to have a, a shrine in this area. Yes. Okay. Yes. So much power. It's like I'm Goku powering up. Huh. That's not very hidden. Like, you would think that's like... Okay, that, that is the worst place for the shrine to be. I mean... Come on, all it takes is a child, like, oh, whoa, there's a creepy freaking skull in that door, I'm gonna go get dad. Then it's like, everyone in the village is now like, knock, knock, who's there? It's me. I know you're dead. That might be my one of my all-time favorite moments in Skyrim. You screw up. You go into the shrine, find all of your friends basically dead and burned to a crisp. So much death happens. And you walk out after basically, you know, saying goodbye to Astrid when she realizes her mistakes and her faults for not following the five. Um rules that the dark brother have to follow after all that regret all of that pain so many people that you care about dying you walk out of there ready to hunt just furious and out from the depths comes shadow mare ah it's just such a great reveal because when all feels lost You get that one little just kind of sense of, you know, reward there. There's actually another door to the Dark Brotherhood sanctuaries over here somewhere. Right there. So, okay, that actually opens up more questions because that means the black doors aren't run by people. They're protected by Sithis or some sort of other magic. That's kind of cool, I guess. All right, so when you're Dawnstar, up there is the Quagmire quest line. We're not going to do that. I don't want to go to Quagmire. So, where are we? Let's see, Mount Kilwraith is up here. Um, Azura is up here. Right here to be exact, I believe. Um, High Hrothgar is right there. Maybe it's down here. Oh, it's right there. There's a castle. Sanctum. Parthenax is up here. Um, creepy elf land is over here somewhere. I know. I remember that. And there's a heckin' castle off the shoreline that's hiding right now. That uh, has all the vampires in it. Oh, a vampire questline. Actually, that's kind of cool. I didn't know. 
I want to be a vampire. Um, but we haven't had really run into any vampire problems yet. So there's really no point in doing it. Um, let's explore this mountain. No, because we already know what's over there. Let's uh, do some exploration around the talking stone camp. Because why not? Not. Not. There's a dead orc there. What is he doing? Let's load his body. We've got his stuff now. Um, where is the chest? Actually, there is something I want to get from the mountain. Oh, he sees us. It's too late. Oop -a -doo. Oh, I've been here before. I'm sorry. <sighs> I do want to go up there, though. Thank you for leveling up my armor progress. I appreciate that. Do not make me freaking smack you, though. Because I will give you the big smack. And you don't want the big smack. Trust me, the big smack is not something you want from me. Because when I give the big smack, it's the big smack. And it'll smack you so hard. You won't like it. Smack, smack, smack. 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 Holy crap, it's a tiger. I get ya. Yeah. That was incredibly easy. I'm getting so strong. It's up there. So there's a dragon's nest that gives you all three shouts at once. But it's guarded by one of the dragon priests. And the shouts it gives you is actually... Um, which forge is this? Oh, this is the forge that... um. Is there a ghost protecting it? It makes no sense. There's usually... Ban this is the lunar forge, right? The forge that gains power when the moon is... You know, by from the moon. It produces better... Uh, no, it's not. Where am I? What are you talking about? Hey, what's... Whoa, hey, what's going on? This is not the Lunar Forge. Where am I? Is this the place I was talking about in like one of the earlier episodes where the guy like traps you? Whoa, that's incredibly different. You're using magic. And you also have a staff. What is this place? Where am I? South Cold Rock Pass. Okay. So then there's a Nordic Temple down here. I thought this was the Lunar Forge, but I suppose it wasn't. Maybe this is the one that I've been thinking of all these times. Like, you know. 
Because what should happen is you walk in, and the first thing you see is the, uh, the wall. But you walk into a trap. Uh, maybe not. Hmm. Maybe I was wrong. Uh, maybe it wasn't the first thing you see, but like you walk down and you see it. Like in the very beginning. Yeah, this is definitely not it. You stop moving. I'm so sorry. It's alright, I'll put you out of your misery. Don't worry. Okay, so whoever is in this place, though, definitely needs to die. Because adventurers that travel here are being used in the afterlife rather than returning to Sovngarde as puppets and defenders against their will. So it is time. Oh shoot, maybe this was the place I was thinking of. What do you want? I'm so con- Okay, look, dead rocker over here. So, should we fall into his trap on purpose, or should we go around the other side and kill him? Well, let's do it. You are such an idiot. Suffer. You killed your own assistant? May all of you go to Sovereign Garden and rest. Let's give a moment of silence, of silence for one of the goodest of boys. It never ceases to amaze me how many fall from my simple trap. I may have to consider tweaking it a bit, though. Many of them in recent months have been dying the second they hit the cage floor. Putting a foot or two of water in didn't help either. In fact, many actually... In fact, it may actually be making things worse. The last ones to fall in broke both his arms and legs. He proceeded to float there and eventually drown. If it weren't for the water, I wouldn't have had a great time twisting his mind until I decided to end him. Captured another one, finally. It's definitely true that whatever these orcs gain in size and strength, they lose in mental capacity. I'm amazed they can even speak. He kept saying that when he gets out, he'll break me in half like a twig. Persuasive, isn't he? Anyway, I told him that if he holds his head under the water for as long as this candlewick lasts, I'll let him free. Stupid thing drowned within minutes. I never tire of this. I haven't captured a soul for days, and the last victim died on impact. Of course, I was still able to reclaim his soul, but not the thrill of killing, or any kind of torture. 
The process lacks that special something. The reclaimed souls I've summoned make decent targets, but taking a mortal's life is much more sweet. You deserve worse than death. Where's the orc? Hmm. The body must have been removed. Is that a spell tome? Cool. A few new spells under the uh, belt. All of you. None of this is fair. We never really realized just how evil he actually was, the uh, captor. Just silence. This is what I want. I need to make sure that I find the rest of them and put them to rest. False story right there. Interesting. I think that would definitely be one of the worst things is being forced to do something that you're like not wanting to do even after death there's no escape because at least with some things there's a way out but with this there's nothing there's no escape it's Eternal servitude is something that you despise. Look at me trying to be all smart and philosophical. How precious. Oh. Did I just lock myself out of that? Gosh darn it. All right. So we know there's a ghost that'll be doing a patrol pretty soon. Rest. Well, it's good to know that at least, you know, it's not just the dragonborn that can kill the, dr the drugger, so. Because it seems like everyone else has, like, a huge problem killing the, uh, undead of Skyrim's Nordic vaults. This is not where I want to be right now. I want to make it up there to the uh, to the dragon's hall there and get the uh, the shout. Even though I'm not even killing dragons yet, I still want to at least collect the shouts. So that way, when like the time comes, I'll be like super overpowered and be able to quickly garner dragon souls. Hmm. 
Hmm. Look, I'm Naruto. <sighs> I am so philosophical and wise. Oh my gosh. Somebody get me a degree in philosophy. I'm Becky. Your average white girl. Meet me at Starbucks. I'm kind of curious. Um, what would happen if I did my white girl accent and then threw it into audacity and changed the pitch and tone? How believable it would be. Because back in 2008, it was like a really big deal that you could uh, change a male singer into a female singer or like, you know, make your, make your voice a chick's voice or do any of that stuff. I specifically remember one title being like, you know, how to make your voice a chick's voice and audacity. Like how to chickify your voice. And then later that would, those titles were turned to how to make nightcore music. <laughs> so. And they were always uh, the... Uh, um, something like, uh, what's a, what's a good example? Like Linkin Park's The End or some other song like that over a YouTube video of some kid giving you a tutorial on how to, um, do this thing on Audacity. Which usually ended up being a pretty simple procedure that ended with, uh, a somewhat shoddy result. And the case that I'm talking about here, the uh, quote-unquote chickification of voices, as I said. I don't know why I said chick, but I do remember there being like some weird like videos about using the chick filter on your voice. The chick, chickification. But yeah. Anyways, uh, <laughs> using pitch and whatnot, you can change it. So back on topic here. Um... Is chick even still used as a word? I know that it was like used in 2010. But is it still used nowadays? I haven't heard it probably since. Gosh. I'm trying. I'm playing a really dangerous game of tag right now. There's three of them. Oh crap. This is not going the way I wanted it to, that is for sure. I was expecting a dragon priest, not an army of idiotic trolls. I need the vampiric healing where it like, um, uh, takes your health and turns it into magicka. That's what I need. Yeah, if I had access to shots, it'd be pretty fun. But shouts aren't very ASMR friendly. <sighs> Thankfully, I am the Skyrim parkour master of Tamriel. Um, I can't pull up what year it is. So, we can make pretty quick uh, work of confusing these beasts of burden. Because that's what they are, they're a burden to me. Come on. Come on. I have 200 iron arrows. I can play this game for a long time.
cool. <sighs> yeah, I should switch back to magic. Magic did a pretty good job, right? Oh, I only did one of them. Big stupid trolls roasting on an open fire. Oh, I wish I still... Oh, it's Death of Flames. And then we'll top it off with this boy. There's four of them. Are you kidding me? Correction, there's three of them. Two. All right, come on, you dumb idiots. Ah. You think you can do that kind of stuff to me, boy? Alright, we're going to take a Magicka Potion. I don't even think I can afford this. Alright, let's uh, fix that. Just do this one. Come on. I don't think that did anything. No, that did not. Huh, so lightning runes don't do jack. Interesting. No, 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 no. I want that blade. I'll be back. Oh, I'll be back. And you all will regret it.
You all will regret it. All of you. I don't like losing. I don't. Out of my way. All of you are going to die. Suppose the folk give us a straight answer. You will see, Lord. He'll come around. Those who take full advantage. We will take up the stone and the solid wall. The Empire is putting us. I'm Yarrow Balgriff, and I'll be ballin', ballin', cause I'm Yarrow Balgriff. Congratulations, do you want a cookie? Cause if you want a cookie, that's too bad. Someone stole my sweet roll. Shut up. If you wanted a cookie, that's really too bad, because someone stole my sweet roll and you did nothing to help me. This is your fault. You caused this mess, and you didn't even offer to get me out of it. Disc, disc, disc. Dude, shut up. Oh my gosh. Wait, the guy I needed to talk to was behind me. Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did. Whatever you've heard, I can do. Probably true. Can you sell magic to me? Ah, uh, probably not. I want to buy all the spells you have. And I want them all to be fire based. So I can burn them. Burn them. Anyone else better pay well for the burning. Whatever you've heard, I can do. Can you really not sell me stuff? We'll let that place simmer. I need more enchantments. See, because what I need is this one. I really also need to increase my smithing. So that way I can get some dragon armor. But smithing is not really going up very quickly. Well, shoot, that was embarrassing. I can't believe I just died to some stupid trolls. I got cocky and I made the mistake and well there oh thank you divine and that helps beyond the lookout the hopeful could be around any after what happened to those other women, I'm worried about my own safety. <sighs> I am really upset about the whole troll thing still. Like, I cannot believe I made that mistake and did what I just did. Like, I'm usually really good about that, but I got too cocky. I got too confident in my abilities. And I made that mistake. Hi, mister. Would you like to buy some flowers? Please? Gizzy could not say no to small girl needing money. Not much, but I hope you like them. Gizzy will buy your entire inventory. Stop by again. <laughs> Go see 
Well, you know what? No. I don't want it to end like this. This is not how this ends. Alright, now just uh, play some edgy, um, some edgy rap music as I uh, storm this mountainside here. And, uh, I don't know, you could do some uh, XX Tentacion or uh, some uh, Night Lovell or um, some Suicide Boys or, I don't know. I don't really know any others, just the, the those ones. Just play some of that stuff. It's really common with Naruto Hambies. So just do that, and then we'll uh, we'll just storm this area up here, and it'll be like, you know, super cool. Maybe I should do like an angry Stacy voice. Stacy is so upset that you think you can just get away with this. Who do you think you are? What's up, boy? I didn't say you could walk away. Want some too? I'll give you some. It's almost as if the more distance the arrow has, the more damage it does. Is that true? Oh no, you guys made a huge mistake, didn't you? Follow me down here. This is my territory. These are the rocks I lurk upon. Lay down. Lay down. Who's next? Oh, it's the one that got stuck. Poor you. Poor, poor, poor. Poor you. That must really suck being stuck down there. I would feel bad, but I mean, I don't. Off the edge with you. Goodbye. Are you still alive?
pesky little Creighton. Who's next? Are you actually gonna follow me? You blatant sociopathic moron. Oh. Come on. Who's a good boy? Not you. I find worse trolls than you in the YouTube comments. Of PewDiePie's admittance to being an agnostic. Right. That was a terrible, 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 terrible comment section. <laughs> Come on. have consequences. Come on, Bumble. Come on. Come on. Denied. Allow me to cement this momentous moment in screenshot history. Come on, buddy. Come on. Do the roar again. Do the roar. Are you mad that Karen took the kids? <laughs> Beautiful. I want my arrows back. And out from that battlefield emerges one who is victorious and infinitely superior. That wasn't even the shout that I thought it was. Are you kidding me?
Wow, I cannot believe that I just literally went on a revenge spree against some trolls. That's a new low for me. That really is. Hmm. Well. <sighs> Despite what just happened, thank you all for tuning in to this episode of the Skyrim ASMR series. That did not go nearly as well as I was hoping it would. And ended with me going on a 20 minute revenge spree. So. Shoot. Well, all that matters is I got my revenge. Thank you all for watching. And have a fantastic.